Good afternoon, students and uh, viewers around. We are, we are here uh, in agri department and animal husbandry department of the school. Your school, Madonna Girls Secondary School Museum. So I'm here to deliver my lesson on the subject animal husbandry for SS1 class. The topic today is poultry production. That should be number one topic of your S third time scheme of work for SS1. The specific objective for this lesson is one, you should be able to identify different species of poultry. Two, you should be able to illustrate the diagram of a poultry house or, or poultry pen. That is why we are here within the poultry pen. Then number three, you should be able to practice poultry production, at least backyard poultry uh, production to appreciate the theoretical aspects you are learning at the school. I believe that you are you are being in some of you have been practicing poultry production in your various homes with local fowls or local hen for laying. So, the species of poultry of different uh, breeds. Here, what you are seeing here is ISA brown pullets for egg production. The ISA brown means Institute of Scientific and Malia for production of genetic animals. It is a hybrid, it's a hybrid batch from France and Canada. We have other breeds of pullets. These ones are pullets. Pullets are female fowls that are being prepared for egg laying. Pullets are different from hen. Pullets are young female birds that are being prepared for egg laying, while hen they are already laying eggs and hatching the young ones. There are other breeds of uh, pullets or egg laying birds, and we have about top six best egg product egg producers in Nigeria. This one is Issa Brown, ISA Brown. They have Bovan Black. Then we have um, Ambalink. Then you have we have uh, Sussex. Then we have White Leghorn. These are good egg laying pullets, which can be reared in Nigeria. We also have Rhode Island Red. Rhode Island Red is a dual purpose species. It is good for meat production and also good for egg laying. Then these ones are for pullets, egg laying uh, beds. Then we have meat production. Uh, a best that are meant for pig, uh, meat production. We have good ones in Nigeria. When we mention Nigeria, that's, that is those ones that will be able to withstand the climatic condition of Nigeria. We have the Rhode Island Red 2, draw purpose type. They have crop chain. They have male line. They have um, we have male line, then we have uh, um, bovan, bovan black for male, then we have orphan, then we have um, Ross 308 and Ross 305, then we also have Marshall. These are different good breeds of meat producers. Then we come to illustration of the poultry house or poultry pen. You can view, you can, or you can, from wherever you are staying, you can view the poultry pen or the poultry house. You, have, you see the gauze, 
it has these measurements and dimensions. Here we prepare it for dry purpose, both for brooding and for rearing. That is why you see tapolin that is used to protect the gauze, so that you can also brood the chicks here. At the same time, you can use it for rearing. So the, the, we have the sealing board, it should be well sealed. And the goals, it should be used to be a strong type, depending on the environmental condition. For instance, if you are constructing the poultry house where you are having problem or challenges of predators. When we mean, what we mean by predators, those animals that can attack the best or feed on them, like snake, cats, rats. So you have to make it in such a way that it will be a predator proof so they cannot penetrate to attack these birds. Then also you should consider the, the, the climatic condition, light orientation. Birds, they need light, they need uh, ventilation. So you should make sure that the, the direction or the site where the poultry pen or poultry house should be must be an area you have adequate lights and adequate ventilation. Especially for the pullets, light helps them to improve in egg production. At least a pullet needs up to 14 hours light of minimum or 17 hours maximum light to stimulate the reproductive organ for egg production. As I said, they need ventilation because if the, the house is hot, or if there is heat, they will, they, will suffer, they will be suffering stress in the sense that it will reduce the egg production and the broilers, that is the meat producers, it can even lead to their death because they are very sensitive to heat. Then, you should make sure you protect them from cold. That is why you have tapolin. When you have a cold, a, a cold condition, like during hamatan, or during rainy season or cool season, the tarpaulin will help to generate the black tarpaulin. It will help to generate heat. Not every tarpaulin, but black, because black color has the ability to absorb heat. So it will help to create warmth in the pan. Then the ceiling board acts as an insulator. It's an insulator that will help to regulate the temperature of the pan in the sense that when the temperature is high. During heat period, the, the ceiling board will make the pan to be cool. Then if the temperature is very cool, especially during hamatan or during cold weather, it will make the, the pan to be warm, creating one for the beds. That is the essence of using a ceiling board. Then the floor, we have different types of poultry pan. We have deep litter system. As you can see, we are practicing deep litter system method, whereby the bears you keep they move on the floor, the floor cover with two shapes, they are water and feed on the floor. They move on the floor. That is deep litter system. We have battery case system whereby the bears are put in cages, especially the layers. You put them in cages so that they will. Each, they will stay there to lay their eggs. They have automatic egg tray where the eggs are being collected. An automatic feeder and drinker, that one is battery case system. They also have fold system whereby you have a small cage that is a movable type. You can move it to any direction you want, especially where you want to improve the, your soil with organic manure. You move them according to that direction you want. Then you need maybe you, you, you the farmer you need the money for that particular farm. Then within here you must provide your water that is intensive system, intensive deep litter system is providing water and feed for them. You also have extensive system whereby you leave the bears to roam around, uh, the, 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 the roam around and find uh, uh, feed for themselves, but. That one has its own disadvantage because it exposes these birds to predators. While when you keep them under intensive, you protect them from predators' attack. Then 
I search as a student or agri scientist or animal husbandry student, you should be able to practice this poultry production at least as backyard poultry farm. You may you may ask how uh, if somebody wants to start it. What is the method? What is the best method? You can use what is called sampling, sampling method. That is, you get small number of birds and you put them under this uh, intensive system. Maybe use deep heat. Of course, you better use deep heat method so that you, you, you have the experience. At least you have the experience at the starting point. Then gradually, you learn to feed them. You need to feed them, you know the kinds of feed they can they can um, be fed on. Like you have the starter mash, the growers mash, and layers mash if it is layers. But if they are meat producers, the broilers, you give the starter mash of initial mash. So they, they have they have they have their own drugs. There's the veterinary comp um, composition. Veterinary composition drugs is not the same drug human being is taking in, uh, in give animals. They have their own veterinary composition. You give them their routine drugs accordingly to protect them from diseases. Then you should also vaccinate them, especially against viral infection like Newcastle disease, which is very common. So if you don't vaccinate them against Newcastle, Newcastle disease, it will be a disaster in your farm. So these are important things you should note. So you should, you should consider their medication, their feeding, and their housing. So you follow uh, the necessary steps, the basic steps. Of course, there must be enough ventilation, enough lights, and making them to be comfortable. So I think with this, you should now try to put it in practice. For today's lesson, this is what we have for today. So you should know the breeds of birds. As I said, I've mentioned the breeds for you, both for female and male. That is the female ones, um, egg laying ones, and meat producers. Then the housing, the housing, then the practice putting it in practice at your various homes so i advise every student have a little bit two or three fowls or chicks around to put these things in practice so that you can appreciate our lesson today thank you